hey guys welcome back to maximum automation today in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up a selenium grid on your machine when we talk about setting up a selenium grid then we can set up the selenium grid in three different modes the very first mode is standalone then the second mode is hub and node and the third one is distributed mode we can set up the selenium grid in any of these modes based on our requirement today i'll start with the standalone mode where we'll see what is standalone mode and how we can set up the grid in this mode also we'll see how we can run our scripts on the grid first of all let's talk about the standalone mode standalone mode combines all the components of the grid into one in this mode we only need a single machine to set up the grid it doesn't require any other machine in this mode we can set up the fully functional grid with a single command this is the easiest one among all three modes to set up the selenium grid when we set up the grid then by default the server will listen for web driver request on the local host with port number 4444 and also by default the server will detect the available drivers that it can use from the system path so we just need only a single machine and on that machine we can set up the grid using a single command and the same machine will be acting as hub and node both so this is about the standalone mode now let's see how we can set up the grid in this mode first of all in setting up the selenium grid what we need is we need the selenium server jar file and to get the jar file what you can do is you can go to this selenium github page and here you can go to the release section right now we have this release 4.8.0 and under this release you can look for the selenium server jar file so we have the option for a jar and zip file you can download any of them i have already downloaded the selenium server jar file once you click on it it will start downloading the file and once you are done with the download then you can move to the selenium server jar file right now i'm in one of my vm where i have kept that selenium server jar file in the standalone mode we need only a single machine to set up the grid so either you can create the selenium grid on your local machine or any remote machine here i have this vm where i'll be setting up the selenium grid in a standalone mode and i have the selenium server jar file available over here now to set up the grid what we need to do is we need to open the command prompt here once the command prompt is open then we have to type the command as we discussed that a standalone mode provides a facility to set up the grid with a single command so we need to run only a single command and the command is java hyphen jar selenium server jar file which we have downloaded and after that type space standalone and press enter in a while it will set up the grid on this machine here you can see that it has detected four available processor because this vm has four processor so what it did it automatically detected the available browser drivers from the system path and added into the grid in this machine i have all these four browsers available i have microsoft edge chrome firefox and ie as well and because this machine has four processors so it automatically added four instance of each browser whether it's edge chrome or firefox for i it's added only a single instance because this browser is obsolete now 
when I say that it added four instances of a Chrome browser in the grid, then it means we can run our scripts in four instances of a single browser at the same time. Suppose if I want to run my script on Chrome, then I can run my scripts on four Chrome browsers at same time, which will reduce my execution time. Now let me show you one more example. I'm going to open a command prompt on my local machine also. And then I'll set up the Selenium grid in a standalone mode. So this is the command prompt on my local machine. And let me type the command Java hyphen jar Selenium server jar file space standalone. So this command will set up the Selenium grid on my local machine in standalone mode. Here I'm setting up the grid on my local machine to show you how it automatically creates the browser instances or how it automatically adds browser instances based on the system configuration. So here you can see that it detected eight processors because this machine is built on eight processors. And if I scroll it down, then you can see that here it discovered two browser drivers. So on my local machine, I don't have Firefox and I don't even have IE. The only browser which I have on my local machine is Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. So you can see that it found that I have only two browsers available and it created or added the eight instances of each browser in the grid. Why eight instances? Because I have eight processor available in this machine. While in this VM, I had four processor available. So it added the four instances of each browser. So this is how it automatically creates the configuration of the grid. Now, if I go to the browser, and type localhost with port number 4444. Then you can see that this is the UI of Selenium Grid Console. Here we can see that we have two types of browsers added to this grid, and eight instances of each browser type is added, which means that I can run my eight test cases in parallel on eight instances of a single browser type and if i run on both browser together then it means i can run 16 test cases parallelly out of them eight can run on chrome and other eight can run on edge so based on the configuration i can run my automation test if i don't want to do the cross browser testing then I can either run my test on Chrome browser or Microsoft Edge. In that case, I can only run a maximum of eight test cases in parallel. Now, if I go to my VM, and here also, if I open the browser and navigate to the URL localhost with port number 4444, then you can see that here, I have four browsers added as part of this grid. And you can see that I have four instances of Chrome, four instances of Firefox, one instance of IE, and four instances of Microsoft Edge added to this grid. So this is how we can set up the Selenium grid in standalone mode. Now, if I talk about the benefit of setting up the Selenium grid, in standalone mode, then one of the benefit is that I can use the grid for developing my automation scripts to test that whether the scripts which I have developed are working fine on Selenium grid. Also, the other benefit is sometimes when scripts are failing over the Selenium grid in parallel execution, then I can set up the grid on my local machine to debug the failed test. Running multiple tests parallelly saves a lot of time. So whenever you are done with your automation development and you want to push your test cases to the repository, 
but before pushing the code you want to test it so you can run your test in parallel on the grid to get the quick test results so this is how we can set up this selenium grid now let's see how we can run our automation scripts on this grid and for that let's move to the code here you can see that right now i have created the object of chrome driver and when we initialize the web driver object using chrome driver then it will invoke the chrome browser on the local machine and the execution will be done on the local machine browser now if i want to run my execution on a remote machine using selenium grid then what i need to do is first of all let me comment this code and then first i'll create chrome options equal to new chrome options after that i'll type driver equal to new remote web driver this is the method which we need to use to run our automation script on a remote machine this remote web driver method takes two parameters the first parameter is the url of the selenium grid so let me provide the url i can provide the url like http let's say if i want to run my script on grid which is running on my local machine then i can provide the url as local host with port number 4444 and after that in the second parameter i need to provide the chrome options when we pass this chrome option then the remote web driver will get to know that it needs to run the test on chrome browsers in grid because we have multiple browsers available in selenium grid so to tell the driver that on which browser we want to run our execution we have to pass the option object which can be a chrome option a firefox option based on the browser type so that's what we need to do to run our test on the grid now let's say if i run my test this search book test then the execution will be done through the selenium grid here if you can see on the command prompt that grid has received the request to execute the test and you can see the browser has been invoked and if i go to the selenium grid console then you can see that one session is running if i go to this session tab then we can see the session is running on chrome with other session details like this is the node where the session is running now you can see that there are no running session at the moment because the execution has been completed and if i go back then you can see our execution is done similarly if you want to run your test on a grid hosted on a remote vm then what you can do you can provide the remote machine url here instead of local host so i am adding the ip address of the remote machine and now this will run the test on the vm where selenium grid is running now you can see that we have received one session request on this vm and the execution has been started on chrome browser and if i go to selenium grid console then we can see that we have one session started on this machine so this is how we can run our automation script on a selenium grid and now let's say if i want to run multiple tests at the same time so far i have executed only a single test on the grid but let's say if i want to run multiple tests 
here I'm going to run all the tests available under home tests in parallel mode. When I run it, we'll see that all tests will start running together at the same time. And now if I go to this remote machine, then you can see three Chrome driver instances started successfully. And if I go to this session tab, then we can see four sessions are running currently. Here you can see that the maximum session supported is four. And maximum session is running is also four. Now it is moved to one. And now it moved to zero. Because the execution is completed. So this is how you can execute your test using Selenium Grid in standalone mode. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. In case of any query, please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.